Johnny Depp's love life is a track list that features multiple celebrity appearances, and some have had to come back to the spotlight because of Johnny's recent court case with his ex-wife Amber Heard. One of those reappearances was from Kate Moss, who dated Johnny Depp for four years in the 90s. Although their relationship was public and they were adored, it had a dark undercurrent that most people didn't know about. Let's get into the details of Johnny Depp and Kate Moss's love story to uncover the dark truth behind their romance. In the 1990s, Johnny Depp was the world's young heartthrob. He was releasing blockbusters and getting his feet firmly planted in the industry. But his love life was experiencing an uproot. His engagement in relationship with Winona Ryder had just come to an end. He had the Winona Forever tattoo amended to Wino Forever, and he was definitely in need of some sunshine. Enter Kate Moss, supermodel and Calvin Klein frontliner. The British beauty was starting into the peak of her career, and a Calvin Klein collab was what sprung her to a young spot in the modeling industry, while placing her on the path to meet Johnny Depp. In 1994, Kate Moss walked into Café Tabak in New York with a fellow world-class model, Naomi Campbell. At the restaurant, Johnny Depp and a group of his friends, as well as ex-Vanity Fair writer George Wayne, were also present. As soon as George Wayne spotted the supermodels, he was inspired to introduce Kate to Johnny. As the prolific writer told The Face in 2019, so Kate walks in with Naomi. They walked into this room, and Johnny Depp was sitting at the back of the restaurant having dinner with a few friends. I grabbed Kate's hand and I said, come, I'm taking you right now. I want you to meet Johnny. I just grabbed her hand and took her back there. I said, Kate, this is Johnny. Johnny, this is Kate. And that was the end of it. I didn't think they would go on to destroy five-star hotel rooms across the globe for the next two years. But that's what happened. I just wanted to, you know, cause a little drama. It ended up being more than a little drama. The actor and the supermodel hit it off fantastically, and their relationship was off to a public start. Kate once told People magazine that, I knew from the first moment we talked that we were going to be together. Their relationship was adored, their red carpet appearances were fantastic, and although they tried to shield most parts of their love story, the media was very much involved in their relationship. That interest spiked when rumors of timber tantrums and heated conversations between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard started circling the headlines. A few months after they started dating, it was reported that Johnny Depp was arrested and charged for criminal mischief. But what happened remains a true mystery. According to People magazine, Johnny Depp and Kate Moss had gotten into one of their rows and he was drunk, so things got very bad very fast. Their argument got so heated that he ended up trashing their room at the Mark Hotel in New York. Commenting on his friend's actions, American filmmaker John Waters told People, I think Johnny obviously has a temper, but this is a very minor incident. The room service must have been bad. That minor incident ended up costing Johnny Depp $9,767.12 to cover for damages and guest fees, but his charges were dropped. However, the damages in the media would never be fixed. While they were still loved, the relationship between Johnny Depp and Kate Moss was often viewed with careful lenses. In September 1995, Kate and Johnny were on Channel 4's Big Breakfast Show to talk about their work with international charity, War Child. During the show, presenter Gabby Roslin asked about their relationship, which was a little over a year old at the time. Kate Moss was confident as she answered that the media don't really know anything. They just presume all these allegations. Johnny added that, it makes for really good fiction. They write some really interesting stories. He definitely got that right. Headlines spun every other week, and their relationship was beginning to feel the strain. In 1997, rumors picked up once again about the Depp Moss relationship, and this time it was about their split. But it wasn't until 1998 when it became official, as Johnny Depp decided to address it in an interview with Hello Magazine. Talking about the sad ending to their love story, Johnny admitted, I was difficult to get on with. 
I let my work get in the way and I didn't give her the attention I should have done. The whole thing was crazy because I should never have got so worked up over what people had to say about my work. Sure, I should care about my movies, but when I get home, I should try to leave that stuff behind. I couldn't do that, and I was horrific to live with. Trust me, I'm a total moron sometimes. Although their relationship was chaotic, their love was real, and their romance was swoon-worthy. It just wasn't made to last. However, the mutual respect and platonic affection they have for each other hasn't dimmed in all the years since the end of their four-year relationship. In 2005, Kate Moss had some unflattering pictures released without her consent. Unflattering as in, she was presumably snorting cocaine in the images. When asked about it on Good Morning Television, Johnny Depp had nothing but kind words for the supermodel, who was receiving backlash at the time. She's super sharp, really smart, and got a great heart. She's a good mom, and she just happens to be human, and the press wouldn't allow that, and that's unforgivable. He added that he was appalled and shocked at the kind of vicious attacks. His comments about the situation no doubt brought good karma his way, because he was exposed to the same vicious attacks when his relationship with Amber Heard ended with allegations of domestic violence. In the course of the court hearings, Kate Moss was called in as a witness, and in her testimony, she clarified that Depp never pushed down the stairs during their trip to Jamaica. Her testimony was contrary to what Amber Heard mentioned on the stand, and it was instrumental to the outcome of the case. Explaining the situation, Kate Moss mentioned that I screamed because I didn't know what had happened to me, and I was in pain, and he came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. He never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Kate Moss's testimony aligns with her depiction of Johnny Depp's personality from a 2012 interview with Vanity Fair. She said that during their relationship, he was able to take care of her, and she believed what he said. Like if I said, what do I do? He'd tell me, and that's what I missed when I left. I really lost that gauge of somebody I could trust. Their breakup in 1998 definitely took its toll on her, as she told Vanity Fair that life after the relationship was a nightmare. She had to live with years and years of crying. But despite all that, she had only good thoughts and comments for Johnny Depp years later. The relationship between Kate Moss and Johnny Depp was plagued by tons of negative drama, but they understood each other, and their relationship was good enough while it lasted. Do you think Johnny's temper issues led to the end of his second longest relationship? Or was it the negative media attention that made things in between them? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this story, feel free to like this video and subscribe to The Chronicle for more inside stories on your favorite celebrities.